it's so difficult when anything happens like this and you you, you see that uh, this young man was ready to go out and start his life now at five we're learning more about the victims of last weekend's crash that took the lives of two young men Good evening, everyone. Those two young men have been identified by the coroner's office. 22-year-old Dakota Singer and 21-year-old Dimitri Kaplanis were killed in a fiery crash early Sunday morning. Both Singer and Kaplanis were pronounced dead at the scene on Ardmore Avenue near Covington Road. Witnesses told investigators that the vehicle was speeding down Ardmore before crashing. Both died from blunt force trauma. Singer and Kaplanis are well-known Fort Wayne natives. Today we spoke with several people who were very close to them. News Channel 15's Gina Glaros has that story now from Studio 15. I'm told the high school friends had different futures ahead of both of them, both on a path to success. Their lives cut far too short. Great person, very bright young man, uh, could do anything that he put his mind to. Extremely difficult when it's a current member of the team. Uh, it's difficult in many situations. Dimitri Kaplanis was a defensive lineman for the Cougars. His hard work, he loved the weight room. Even when it wasn't required, he was always knocking on the door and wanting to go get stronger. He was getting ready to graduate in the spring. His coach says he wanted to go into business. He was a contributor. He was a very quiet young man that worked awfully hard. He was dedicated in the weight room. Uh, great student. Went here four years and never made a B, straight A's. Coach Donnelly got the call Sunday night. When I learned that it was uh, Dimitri in his car and there were others in the vehicle, and at that time they did not know how many, so I started thinking, okay, you know, who did he run around with and who else might be involved? So I started calling other players. Turned out it was his high school buddy, Dakota Singer. Singer was an employee at Lutheran Hospital, going to school to be a registered nurse. He was dating Caitlin Smar. Whenever you were around him, you just couldn't help but to laugh, and he would just tell jokes, and you were always laughing or something. I mean, you couldn't help but smile if you're around him. And I will definitely miss that the most. He could definitely put you in a good mood if you're having a bad day. Coach Donnelly broke the news to the team yesterday with campus ministry, counselors, and student life all on hand. The support here was absolutely tremendous. I just want him to be remembered as a good guy and who was very funny and I just want people to remember that about him and just live for him and always smile whenever you do think about him. He's going to be missed. He was well thought of by the entire campus community. A GoFundMe account has been set up for both of these men. We have those links on our website, wayne.com. In Studio 15, Gina Galeros, News Channel 15.